So one of the common things that some people like to ask me about my preference with anime is whether I like subbed or dubbed anime and which one is better. Some people would say, <laughs> of course, he's obviously going to say it, dub, because dubbed anime are the best. They're localized within your region, and you don't have to do absolute, you don't have to do absolutely anything to understand what the characters are saying, because it's all in English or your local language. It's you know, pretty simple. And yeah, that would be a pretty valid argument. And then there's people who say, oh, <laughs> obviously, he's going to say subtitled because subtitles are very, are always superior to dubs. Dubs always cut out stuff and they're left in translation. They have to westernize, uh, westernize things in order for people to really understand things. Whereas subtitles are the purest thing to the pure that you can get to if you want the best anime experience. And yeah, that's also a valid argument. And then there's the people who are pros and will say obviously people on both sides are stupid dubs suck because not all English because all English dubs are terrible I hate listening to English dub and some people are gonna say subtitles suck because they lose stuff from translation as well and well the best way to watch it is the unedited and uncut version of the episode raw no subtitles no dub just straight up Japanese audio that's the best you can get and yeah, that's also a valid argument. So, in the long run, the question that most people always ask me, which is better, dub, sub, or completely raw uh, video footage of Japanese anime? Which do I think is better? I've been asked this by a couple of different people. I've had discussions with different people about it. And honestly, I don't really care. And that's just my straight up honest opinion. Um, my 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 first thoughts are, okay, well, th this is how my mindset works when it comes to finding an anime. Um, I look for an anime show that I like, and I ask myself, is it a good anime to watch? Or let me see what people are talking about this show. Okay, let me go and look at it. Oh, sorry. This subs. This show is only available in subtitles, or this show only has a dubbed version of it right now, or it doesn't have a dubbed version, or it has both of them. All right. Well, let's let's hit up both of them. We're just for the sake of the situation. Let's just say that the show only has a subtitled version. Somebody out there is gonna say, "Oh, man, I ain't freaking watching the subtitle. I ain't got time to read. I ain't got time to do that." It's too much work. I don't have time to freaking read a paragraph of an episode just to freaking enjoy the episode. And they'll leave just like that. And that's a pretty valid explanation. I mean, man, I'm still in school right now. I um, only have like a couple of months left before I go off and do my own thing. But after a long day of going to school, looking at freaking math problems all day on the board, uh, messing with computers, um, figuring out how those work, having to read a book, a textbook to do those things, and then going around to my favorite class, which is English, and having to read some more, there comes a time where even the people who like to read don't want to read. And sometimes subtitles do that for me. Sometimes I don't feel like reading subtitles to enjoy a series. And that's just how it is. Um, However, subtitles do have their perks over dub, which I will, I'll talk about. One of them is the fact that how, as far as if you don't speak Japanese, um, subtitles are the next best thing to watching a raw and unedited episode of an anime. Mostly because um, sometimes dubs like to change things up. Um, a great example would be Crayon Shunchan, where some of the Japanese references to uh, stuff within pop culture and like sumo wrestlers and this stuff like that would have to be changed out to something that a Western audience could relate to um, because we don't live in Japan. We, obviously, we wouldn't understand a lot of the stuff that goes over there. So that's perfectly 
plausible, but if you actually want to be able to get to that, <clears throat> you should have that option of getting that. So subtitles steps into play and pushes that out towards the Western audience or any audience who wants that material, which I think is cool. Another thing that I'd like to argue is the fact of how sometimes um, Japanese voice actors put a lot more effort into their voice acting than some English voice actors do. And I'm not sure about any other language because I don't really speak any other language, but as far as um, voice actors go, sometimes English dubs suck. And that's straight up facts. I think that for the most part, this was mostly during the 90s when anime was just being introduced over here and stuff like that. So that was when it really sucked the most, but it's been changing ever so slightly from then, and it's been getting better, which is good. That's what we need, better English dubs. And there's always the occasional character whose voice acting sucks and then automatically switch over to subtitled, but that's only on occasions. Um, but yeah, that's sub subtitles is actually pretty good, man. There's nothing really bad about those, except for if you don't want to read it, then you, you want to go for a dub, and that's true. Um, and yeah, like I said, like with voice actors, I mean, having more feeling and passion in the voice. Sometimes I f like, uh, sometimes it's true when you look at it, um, voice acting in the U S is sometimes taken seriously by some companies, some people who actually do this for a living and just love what they do. But for the most part, I don't think that voice acting in the U S is taken too seriously. Whereas in Japan, um, seiyus and voices of characters, have like freaking fan clubs and like they have like I don't know why but voice actors over in Japan seem to have like freaking Hollywood status or something like that going on for them it's it's from what I've seen I don't know if it's completely true or if it's always that way or anything like that but that's just from what I've seen um, and yeah there are some really good voice actors like my favorite voice actor is uh, voice actress is Yuko Biyashi, uh, the voice of Maria from Maria Hollick. So it was that. But um, yeah, that's that's for subtitles, man. Now, to go on with dub. Dubbed anime is probably the first thing that I will shoot for if I have an alternative. Like, for example, if there is a choice to watch dubbed or subtitled anime, more so than not, I will go for the dub version just because it's easier to get into, it's quicker, it's in English, I don't have to read anything really, and it's pretty much that's it. Nothing really to change up, um, and I could get straight into the series, and that's awesome. Um, however, like I said before, just like subtitles, dub also dubs also have their downsides. Not every single dub is good. Um, there are some crappy voice actors who probably need to train us a little bit more. Or the, the, the voices for the characters just seem really, really off and it's kind of annoying. Um, but that's like the only really gripe about it. I mean, aside from the fact that they do sometimes have to cut stuff out in order to make it seem to make more sense to us. Good example would be um, an episode of Ghost in the Shell, which um, apparently in the subtitled version, the, uh, one of the characters had a Kansai accent, which I think is a region of Japan or something like that. And apparently from what I've heard, Kansai, a Kansai accent in Jap Japanese is the equivalent of a Texan or really country accent over in the United States. So. I don't know whether that's true or not, but that's from what I've heard. So, you, you know, they have to change stuff up in order for us to be able to jump straight into it. Some things have to be cut. Some things have to be changed. And that's completely understandable as well. Um, and honestly, I watch both subtitled and dubbed. And that's freaking awesome. Now, the one thing that I want to try and learn and um, just for my own personal reasons and as well as for watching anime is watching anime um, without subtitles and without a dub, straight Japanese audio. Now, the reason for this 
being is the fact I mean most people like to poke fun at people who want to do this of like like oh you just want to learn Japanese for the anime oh you want to just learn Japanese for this and this and so what if you do look at it this way um, like I said before with an English dub of an anime series they have to westernize some things of the show in order for it to make sense with this audience and even with other audiences like um, say United Kingdom or anywhere else I mean some things you can just pick up on but you get the gist you have to change some things in order for it to make sense to a certain audience so some things are going to be taken out and messed around with and everything like that on another note some things will be lost in translation whereas some words that only make sense in Japanese can't be translated over to English without a proper you know, really understanding so it's gone changed and I guess you could say the same thing is also applied can also be applied to subtitles because while subtitles are more accurate to the original Japanese audio um, you can only translate so much to where it makes sense into English without losing some things. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much the gist. That's the entire thing. Some things will be cut out even if you do original, um, you know, like subtitles and stuff. Some things will still be lost. Now, the reason I think it would be cool to learn Japanese is, one, it's another language. Why not? That's the first thing, you know. It's another language that people can learn, and it's it's a challenge to learn this more so than a lot of other languages because of the alphabets that they have to learn. They have like three of them, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and you have to you know read it and speak it and stuff like that. And it'll be a challenge, but it'll be cool when you can actually watch anime and movies and you know, Japanese movies and stuff like that without. Eng the English dub or the subtitles. You, you know, um, a person who I'm subscribed to on YouTube, it was the Mexican Samurai 100. He went to go see the Dragon Ball movie, the Dragon Ball Z movie, with his son, and um, he said that a lot of the stuff, you know, of course the movie's going to be in Japanese because it hadn't been translated over, and really no subtitles had been introduced at the time when it first came out, and um, you know, he said that he sees where a lot of the people who you know watch anime and review it and stuff like that are talking about um, in the original Japanese audio and stuff like that. You know, because he was over there, he said a lot of different stuff would have been cut out if you didn't speak Japanese. If you spoke Japanese and you understand it, a lot of the stuff will still retain its original audio and everything will still will make a lot more sense, and it would just be accurate so much accurate uh, um so much more accurate stuff like that and to me i was like wow that's that's pretty cool i'd be able to do that with uh anime movies and just different stuff like that i think that would be pretty cool to get a more accurate understanding of what characters are saying within a show and not just um you know subtitles and dub it you know would be plain and simple that would be even cooler Plus, it's, you get to learn something new. And you know what? We all like to learn, right? Right? Well, anyway, um, this is the Anime Blaze signing out saying never doubt your capabilities because you never know what you might be able to do. Whether you decide to watch an English dub of an anime series, watch an anime subtitle to try and get as accurate as you can, or whether you want to go freaking balls to the wall and remove English and subtitles and just go all in it, go straight into it, Japanese audio. So, I'll catch you guys later in whatever it may be happening that I decide to do later.